Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 13 of Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, so we definitely need more help if we are to get ahead in this game. We got some of the Georama filled in Sindane, but we need to head out and get some more help. We need to find someone named Gerald, and he should be in Max's house. What's my gun doing anyway? Smash Ranch and Bell Trigger are actually doing really well. Hmm. Maybe he's actually uh, out in the garden. Also, how did I get here? Why'd I show up on that side? That was so weird. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Max! You've been moving about a lot lately. Are you taking care of yourself? Something I can do for you? What? You want me to go with you on your adventure? Hmm. I'd like to go with you. But this poor tree isn't doing so well. Taking care of the trees and the flowers on this property is my number one priority, you know. If I go about roaming about... I could lose my job. I bet some of the holy water that Priest Bruno sells at the church would fix this tree. But as you know, your father and Priest Bruno are on bad terms. Your father never gave me money to buy holy water from Priest Bruno. I'm in a pickle. To get Gordon to Sindane, first you must have to get him to join you on your journey. If you fulfill Gordon's request, he'll join you on your journey and get on the train. Well, oh, I didn't mean to take a picture of you. What do you need to fix this tree? I have some holy water for you. That'll remove the demons on that tree. Yes, Max, you've done it. Now I can take care of this tree. Thank you, Max. My work is all taken care of for now. Now I can go with you on your adventure. Oh, and don't... Don't mention that holy water to your father, you hear? Hey, now we got Gordon. That person will get on the train. Blah, blah, blah. Make sure you talk to them in the train. Let's see if you can actually recruit them. To move one of your train friends into a house, choose move person from the door menu of that house. There may be others willing to join your party. Be sure to look for them. I don't think it changes who I have right now. It doesn't. I should definitely take a look to see all their abilities. I might find someone better than Borneo. Okay, so... Why don't we actually just uh, look around and talk to more people? We might find a few more people in this house alone. So let's go check that out. The question is, it's knowing the names of people. Which is a bit of a hassle, unless you're taking a picture of them. That's Stuart. <laughs> Hi. I'll do my best. Leave it to me. I don't know if you can help, but just listen to this. I spent some 30 years working hard in this house. That's all I do. But well, my one hobby is reading. There's a really valuable and rare book that's up for auction at the moment. People are fighting over it. I believe a bit of about 1,000 gil will be enough. I don't have those kind of funds. And if I were to ask my master, he'd be appalled and I'd probably have to resign. So you're my only hope. But that's not to say that if you can't help me, I won't help you. Despite what he says, Stuart probably won't help unless you give him 1,000 Gilda. Oh well, better get some money together. 
You won't believe this. The price has gone up to 1,200 Gilda. I'm terribly sorry. Would you possibly get a hold? Hold A of 1,500 Gilda. Oh man, that's going on the album if I remember to do so. Hang on, I might. Never mind. I was gonna timestamp it and I realized I couldn't. Not if, right, I, not my setup right now. This is terrible! There's someone who will pay 1800 Gilda! How do you know this? You're not even at the auction! If I don't bid about 2000 Gilda, there's no way I'll win. Sunny, did you manage to get my 2000 Gilders together? What can I do? It's yours. Thank you so much! I'll get straight down to the auction. Uh, okay. He just up and left. Let's see if he just comes back. Wow, you returned. Thank you very much. I managed to make a successful bid. A bid strong. And everyone else dropped out really quickly. So I got it for 1400 Gilda. So, I can give you 600 back. And I'll work hard from now on to repay you the rest of the money I borrowed. I know I put you... Put you to a lot of trouble. I'll repay the favor any time. Oh, and I got another party member. Stuart. Let's see what else is going on here. Hey, Dad. According to Cedric, you've been off up to something recently. You're good at a lot of things. But on the other hand, you never see anything through. So when you ask for help, it's hard for me to take you seriously just like that. I know. Why don't you try to build up this trumpet gun to a bell trigger? Think you can do it? Thanks for the free trumpet gun. To get a Gerald to accept you, you'll have to bring him a bell trigger. You can build up the weapon you've been given, or you can buy a weapon or bring one you find in the dungeons. Oh! Looks like you've gotten pretty good with weapons, too. I don't even need to see you shoot. I can tell by the way you hold it. Okay, I'll help you out. But I'm not doing it for you. If this town's in danger, I can't just sit here doing nothing. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> good to know you'll join me. Alright, uh, let's see what's in this room. Oh, that's just the, uh, mess hall. There's nobody in there. Jeez, I hate when the game does that. It gives me a heart attack. I'm thinking that the game froze. It's hard work, this inventing business. I want to make stuff too, but I just can't think of anything. That's all you got to say? Alright. Fine by me. You can waste my time all you want. What was that? Can't you talk a bit more slowly? Please enter. Let's go together. Okay, let's let's go together. You actually have to type this all in. That's crazy. And it's very particular, too. Like, if you get, like, even... Oh, no, that's, that's correct. I wonder if you'll get penalized if you use the wrong case. I really hope you don't. So you can just do, like, Spongebob meme talk. And say, like, let's go together with, like upper and lower letters together. Let's go together. An adventure? That would be nice. What use could an old woman like me be? Well, you can motivate our youth by dying faster than us. <laughs> you won't feel as old. <laughs> But who knows, maybe one of our abilities is actually good. Ah, good timing! There's something I wanted to talk to you about. I'm 
sure you know that I'm making unusual sweets from around the world as part of my research. I've heard that there's a sweet called Castagnaccio. Castagnaccio. Which is made using something called Castarna. I managed to find out that this Castarna grows on the same kind of tree as chestnuts. So I thought I might as well try using chestnuts instead. But it's really weird. Chestnuts are sold all over town. Apparently the mayor has bought them all up with something. Don't suppose you can help me out? Yeah, here. Take some of these chestnuts. It's up down here. The use item box is really small. It only shows up to 10 items at a time. Yes, that's it. Thank you very much. Now I can try to make some Castagnaccio. I'll let you try some as soon as it's ready. Actually, is there anything I can do in return? What? You want me to go with you on an adventure? Ah, of course I will. Why didn't you just ask in the first place? Thank you very much, Ferdinand. Well, we're getting party members left, right, and center. Soon I'll have to start deciding where I'm going to move them. This is the room where I found the phone, by the way. It's over here. I see. I really wish I could help you more than anything. But I don't have any confidence in myself. I always seem to give up halfway, and I've never seen anything through. When I was little, I dreamt of becoming a tailor. I tried many times to make something, but I never completed a single garment. If I went with you, I'm sure I'd just get in the way. So, sorry, but no. Oh dear, Adele has lost all her confidence. This is no good. Let's get her to try making clothes again. Yes, if I try again and this time manage to complete something, maybe I'll believe in myself again. But I don't have the materials I need. Would you be able to get them for me? All I need is sturdy cloth, thick hide, and a hunk of copper. Here, have these. Thanks very much. Now I'll try making some clothes. I won't let these go to waste. Maybe if I just leave and re-enter... Alright, are you done? Did you manage to, uh, fix something in, like, eight seconds? Of course you did! Ah, Max! I finally completed a garment! I didn't want to let the materials you gave me go to waste, and that kept me going to the end. I'm not completely satisfied with it, but would you wear it anyway? Green overalls? Ah, it's so great to have finished something. Now I feel much more confident. I'll do the very best I can. So please take me with you. Thank you for joining the party. Guess I can just wear these. Oh yeah, these actually look much better. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this for now. Awesome stuff. Um, let's see. I guess that's pretty much all I can get in this house for now. There might be more I can get on the way. But for the time being, I think we can just exit. I'd still like to get some more people, of course. So, I think the best thing for me to do is head over to the church. Should be somebody there. By somebody, I mean a priest. Or better yet, maybe I should go here first. Anybody upstairs? Hi. Ooh, Max! I've heard that you've been going out of town recently. That's great. Why don't you take me with you? I bet you're thinking I won't be any use because I'm a girl, but I actually bring people a lot of luck. 
It never rains when I go out, and I've never seen a losing lottery ticket. What do you think? Um... Okay... You'll take me with you? I didn't think you would. But how come I'm the only one who has to ask you, when you've been asking all these other people? I came to you! If you then just asked, then of course I would have helped you. I know. If you can find me, then I'll help you. What do you think? In other words, let's play hide and seek. Right. Go! Oh well, looks like you better try to find Corinne. She's probably hiding somewhere in Palm Brinks. And you have literally no clue where she could be. So, she knows about me. Maybe she tried to trick me by going in my room. That is a bit of a mean thing to do, though. I will say that much. Just breaking into my house. Disrespecting my privacy. I don't like that at all. Okay, this is my room. I'm not just remembering that. Alright, girl. Where are ya? She didn't go to my house. It might be possible she went to the house near me. To give me a false sense of security. Yeah, maybe it was this house. Alright, let's go in. find me again? Okay, now I should probably go back to my room. What's this? Hey, it's the Virgin Mary. I'm surprised they put that kind of imagery in uh, this game. Because I don't really think that this game is referring to any uh, Judeo-Christian religion. Are they? No, they're not. You think this is its own universe. Interesting. Anyway, let's see. You better have a good ability or anything. Oh, you found me. I'm getting a bit fed up with this now. Hiding is actually really boring. Oh well, let's go off on our adventure then. Our adventure, it's my adventure, thank you very much. You are just a supporting character and nothing more, alright? That's just how it is. Okay, next up... Let's go check out the church. I think there's someone in there, too. I gotta take a look at the steeple of this church. Like, if it's a cross, then maybe it is, like, a Christian religion that they're referring to. No, that's not even a cross! They just worship the God of Triangles. Hi. Be my friend. Really? You need my help? Then let me pose you a problem. The candles in this church are controlled by a small mechanism. When they're lit, it puts them out. When they're out, it lights them. 
one of them changes, the adjacent candles change too. If you can put out all the candles successfully, it'll prove your wisdom, and I'll go with you. If you solve it, great. If not, please understand that I cannot help you. This is another puzzler. Give it a few attempts and make use of what you learn each time. If you re-enter the church, the candles will be reset. So don't worry about going wrong. The answer could be simple. In fact, the answer is simple. Add this one. And go, like, in the fashion of, say, a chess knight. Just, like, zag like that. Just go down like two candles and then go to the right and boom I did it you've done well wonderful I'm sure you'll live up to my expectations I promised didn't I I'll go with you all right we have ourselves a priest Please don't convert anyone on the train, that's all I ask. Okay, next up, I should probably check out the park. Let's see, where should I go? Maybe around the lake? Should be someone around there. It's not you, is it? Why do all men like to fish, I wonder? Because it gets us away from you. I saw some dwarves with big ears around here. Then again, maybe it was just my imagination. Dwarves? Certainly wasn't those peeps from Sindane, was it? How'd they get here then? Hi. You want me to do you a favor? First, hear me out. I only listen to people that I respect. And the only people I respect are people that have caught a bigger fish than me. The biggest fish I ever caught was a 60 centimeter nonkey. Are you impressed? If you feel like a challenge, I'll take you on anytime. Seems like the only way to get him on your side is to catch a donkey of more than 60 centimeters. You can do it! Anyway, try doing some fishing in the Palm Brinks Lake. Well, I needed to fish, because I haven't done that in a long time. Oh, I still have some bait on it. Good. Hopefully this is the right bait I need to get a donkey. Okay, this one? Oh, it's a gummy. Oh, my bait's gone, that's right. Almost forgot. <laughs> Don't say I'm not motivated. I'm just a little sleepy. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's see if the Nanki is a cannibal. dare you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, goddamn you. Eat your own. Okay, maybe you won't eat your own. Let's try a baton instead. So peaceful. So peaceful. 
peaceful. A little too peaceful. Not even feeling anything on this controller either. So they're not even nibbling. Let's try a different piece of bait. The one bait that I had that worked, I only had one of. There was a prickly. Let's see if this is any better. The music is very relaxing. You know, as you get rather annoyed that fish are not biting. really well with what you're feeling right now. Oh. Apparently I can't talk to them while I'm just holding this. Oh, there's more pricklies here! Thought I only had one. Should I just move? Is there literally just one fish in this general area? Hmm, I feel like it is. That's just nuts! We only got like, what, one fish? And they're not biting ever again? fishing points do I even have? I only have 59. Maybe I should build up on luck. Alright, let me try one different piece of bait, and then I'm just gonna stop. fish over here instead. Any minute now. Are you serious? Was there really only one fish in that entire pond? It can't be. Oh, this sucks. Like, the only fish I caught was a gummy. Alright, let's just go switch weapons. There, I'm done fishing. Hi! I bet you never actually caught a Nanki. Ha ha! You must really stink at fishing! Bugger off, you. Well, I'm definitely just gonna have to try again later. But for now, I think I'm just going to have to leave that alone. Um, let's see. I should probably just see if I can recruit someone else. Think, where can I go next? Where's a good spot? Where's a good spot? I'm like uh, recruiting people to possibly have shops in Sindane. Shouldn't I just like go to a shop here? And that's what I should do. Wait, why am I going the wrong way? I just passed the shops. Let me try the weapons shop then. Hi. Hey, my friend. So you saw me at the circus? Pretty cool, right? It's not so much our job as a hobby of mine. Hmm, maybe you like talking to girls. 
You're Monica, right? I've heard you're not bad with a sword. But swords aren't playthings, you know. You have to think about what's in front of you. If you can build up a sword by about two levels, then I'll believe you've got talent. Why don't you start with this Gladius? To get Milan to accept you, it looks like you'll have to build up Gladius by two levels. It's fine to buy or pick up weapons too. Hey, so if I find something that's above a Gladius, hey, we can just get her right then and there. Okay, you know what? I think we're just going to forego recruiting more people for now. I should probably talk to Donnie, because I got, like, a lot of ideas, and I just haven't, like, cashed them in. Oh, I forgot to make this, too. There. I talked to him as Max. <laughs> Dig for a scoop. I figured out two more scoops. Woo, you got six new scoops. I knew you had it in ya. Of course I did. A bandit coin. I can use that for stealing items. Oh, inventory's filling up. this energy pack installed. There. We don't need this one anymore. Let's make good use of it. Maybe I'll just put it on the gun. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Or better yet, maybe I should put it on one of Monica's weapons. Now, nah, just put it on the gun. Give it a little bit of something. Should I go back to the dungeon? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the dungeon. Oh, this is actually the boss room! I didn't know that. Let's go back here. So we gotta do this floor again. But I gotta remember not to take the sun path. I had to go to the moon path instead. Was it moon or was it a star? Well, at least that indicator is there to remind me. Don't take the sun path again. I should probably just go with, uh, Steam. Yeah, as you can see, the energy pack that I just installed has a maximum of 120 now. But somehow, it carried over the energy from the previous one. That makes no sense. But here we are. Can't go that way yet. But yeah, having this new energy pack gives us more time to be out on Steam without needing to refuel. Good, I just picked up another repair powder to make up for what I just spent. did good. Max, come back. Oh, 
Fire element could resist this. Oh, could so could that. Yeah, maybe I should stick with Steve when I'm fighting elements. Because it does so little damage. Alright, so far so good. Another one. I'm so glad they can be down in one hit, too. Because otherwise, I'll be going through my uh, weapon HP like nobody's business. Okay, that's the sun path. We don't want to go there. We want to go the other way. Oh my god, more gun repair powder. It's like two packs, like right next to each other. That ain't bad at all. The thing that I can critique about this barrel gun is that sometimes I have to press the X button way more than once just to get it to fire but not every time so it's a little inconsistent there the last thing i want is to have me in a spot where i can get killed so the path to the right leads to the boss Apparently, I'm going to need something in order to fight the boss. Oh, it's glowing! Wow, that's a dead giveaway right there. Wait, do I have the fairy saw? Did I, did I pick it up? I did not pick it up. I still need to look for it. <laughs> Wait, why am I going this way? I thought the chest was over that way. My view is just turned around. You worry, Daddy Steve will get a new core again. Then everything will be gravy. Glad you can get pretty much a whole lot of cores so early in the game. Like, if you wanted to, you could probably get, like, one of the best cores in Chapter 1. That is insane. Can you imagine putting in that much time? Just to do that? You'd have to be bored to death to do it. Like to build it up that deep. I can't go any further? Wait a minute. Is it telling me that I can't continue on until it's nighttime? Does this literally open on a day and night system? Oh, that's bullshit right there. You know what, Monica? Why don't you take over for a little while? Maybe you can fare better against elements. Yeah, this opens up because it's daytime. But day and night does flow normally here. So I might as well just like clear out the rest of the enemies. Yeah, it, it didn't even increase Monica's HP after that Fruit of Eden from the last episode. I hardly ever used her. You give me clap back! I don't appreciate that clap back. But 
at least her sword's able to deal with the elements. I should check out my other party members, see what they can do. Another jabroni over there. Eleven super hot pepper. Oh, I'm gonna need way more than that for my spice fix. I want all that seasoning. Okay, so unfortunately, I have to wait until it's nighttime to see if this will work. But I guess since all the enemies are dead, why don't we go fishing here? I'll have to see, like, what bait is good for where. Seems like there's a lot of places where he, they don't bite at all. Oh, I'm getting something. Did it get away? It didn't even tell me. I thought I had it. It was very close. That same one will bite again. Maybe that same one will bite again. Like, I still have bait on it, do I? Yeah, it's still attached. Look! Or did that fish somehow phase out of existence? Batan, I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Please don't let me down. I like to show that I'm decent at fishing in this game. I was pretty good in Dark Cloud 1 when it came to fishing. Like, I put a lot of time into it. But here... It's just been a whole different story. And fishing is not even complicated. Is there another fishing pond? Like maybe closer to that exit I need to go to? Or is it possible I can't go there at all until I beat the boss? Or at least do more with the Giorama. I wonder if that's what it is. Yeah, I don't think there's any more ponds nearby. So, what I should do... Well, other than pick up this rock and smash it... Let me see if my theory is correct. And wait right here until it's nighttime. So, why don't you give me several minutes? Alright, I'm back, and I figured out we can't go through there just yet. So, I guess we have to take care of this part first before we can go down here. Which is a bit disappointing, but what can you do, right? So with that, let's go back to the train and talk to everyone. If I can find out more about their abilities. Oh, please. How can you upgrade it anymore? Oh, well, I can get another shield kit. Let's wait till I get another core. 
go in. I'm gonna like start from back to front so I don't get turned around. God, there's like a lot of people. Oh, I could get amulets from you. I think they prevent certain ailments, but they do break. Makes cheese! <laughs> sell you amulets. You can get hair ornaments. Hmm, I guess they just update uh, Monica's look. Uh, you know what? Get this one. Let's see if it actually does change her look. Oh, it does! You can actually see it! That's cool. And I can get recovery items from you. Soap is getting for good for getting rid of goo. See, yeah. I have had it up to here with freaking goo. Petrification has not been a problem yet. Provides from dense from deaths. From death, one time, we'll sell status recovery items. I'm gonna have to take a look at your abilities. Always get an angel with coins! That sounds pretty decent. Not the best, but if you're using the angel coins a lot, the odds will be in your favor. Gives you bonus points with upgrading guns? Oh man, you are like my personal NRA! All you have are trumpet guns. I mean, thanks. I can get fruit from you. Water is not a fruit! What are you talking about? Huh. Girl, no wonder you can't do anything right. Gradually raises weapon HP of unequipped weapons. Oh, well, whatever. Heals you automatically. We'll sell you shoes for max. Let's you walk on hot floors. to worry about hot floors yet, so we'll, we'll deal with that later. We can get food from you, because, well, you're a cook. Oh, this is for a full restore! 120 is a bit expensive. Can make premium chicken! What did Gordon do? Gives you bonus attack points on plant monsters, and will sell Georama parts. Well, if I ever need stuff like this, I know where to go. Have I talked to everybody I've gotten so far? Mm, yes, I have. Oh. It's like, eh. I have to open from this side. Alright, so if I'm building up guns, I might as well have to bring in the uh, gun boy, which of course is Max's dad. So let me stop here, and in the next part, we're gonna keep rebuilding with the Georama. So I think we need to put more work into that now. See everybody, thanks for watching.